Hello everyone, I'm here from Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my Russian Empire playthrough on the Dreams of a White Russian Victory, where I have played some off cam because you may notice we are actually over here in Denmark now. And we're not doing a terrible job up here either. We are moving to secure the ports in Denmark. We have got a nice wee defensive line down here in the north. I am going to be preparing a push with Wrangle's troops to try and push somewhat into Poland and maybe even towards Germany. I mean Berlin. Um, I do just have to divert your attention to one nation. Uh, we're just gonna. The U.S. is down here. We're just gonna. We're just gonna show off down here right now. The U.S. are down here trying to take up Brazil, you know, with um, some of them joining the Japanese faction. Italy is continuing to take over um, Africa. Um, Japan is dominating over here, uh, but uh, also they're in. Uh, they're in America. What a mess this is. Luckily, they're starting to come back in through Guatemala to secure it, but I don't know how many Japanese troops are in here. Because the Japanese do have a maximum of 301 divisions. I'm so glad I'm not at war with everyone else right now. So, yeah, we've got more troops landing. Um, Germans, are, as you can see, are diverting a substantial amount of divisions down here. Um, I'm probably just going to actually send half of them up there and get the rest down here. Because Copenhagen is now back under, well, they're under our friendly occupation. We aren't there to kill them. Or enslave them like the Germans. We are here for peace. We're peaceful. Democracy. That is what we are. The Italians are continuing to push down here. I'm, I've reinforced it with some divisions here. Uh, who in fact, I'm actually going to move them onto there. Um, just because they were starting to break through and I'm like, I don't want them to break through there. We still have the guys on garrison as well, because the Italians are continuing to do naval invasions. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually move some troops forward. Or attempt to move forward. And the Germans, we could do with pushing the Germans back slightly towards the capital. But, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try and maybe push down from here, because that still is pretty weak. In comparison to the other fronts, yeah, as you can see, they're just going non-stop right now. Some Italian troops are actually dying. Um, well, maybe hold off on doing the push, actually, until we have the... 229 days. Not bad. We're almost decrypted everyone again. Oh, they're pushing into us over here, actually. <clears throat> really? The hip. Iraq. Oh, okay. Drop. You guys are actually ready for combat. Why don't you come and assist in here? Do have to be. Oh, we overrun some divisions. Fan flip fantastic. There's nothing better than overrunning some Germans. I don't like how the front is getting so stretched, though. I'd rather we were, like, saying that the front is always going to be stretched because we've got Yugoslavia at war with us as well. We're trying to take over the whole of Europe at this point. That's what we're doing. I could call Spain in. And of course, I don't have troops over there to help them. We could have maybe sent some guys over, but alas, we're not going to do that. Guess we'll t continue to exploit the weakened frontier. We're gonna get those guys to push forward. We do have to be careful. We don't have a massive surplus of guns sitting in spare right now. After our fight in Norway, that's kind of had a toll on us ever so slightly. Um, we are producing a lot of military factories though. Probably just leave the construction how it is right now because repairs are always going to be done. So, let's grab you. What's up? Oh, date now. I think it's, yeah, close air support. It's fine. Planes. We are still getting absolutely dominated in the air. Um, we do have plenty of planes up here that we could divert to. To Denmark, actually, and into northern Germany. This front's actually not looking too bad. They could probably push out. Again, it depends on how far I want them to push out. I don't want to stretch them too thin. Since we're coming in nicely over here. I 
Or should I be pushing with them, really? I might just want to simmer with these guys. If we can make some gains, if we can get, at least get Rostock and Wilhelm, Wilhelm's Haven under our control, I think we'll call the push there. Get Hanover as well, actually. Yeah, I don't need those. Oh, Rostock's under our control. Oh, we've got Bremen under control as well, and we've got a couple of divisions encircled. We're actually putting up a little bit of a fight, which I don't like, but oh well. Um, maybe in a better position to take them down now. Yeah, everyone else just remain on the front, please. We are, we're almost reaching, reaching them. Gosh, this might end up turning into a case of pushing southwards. Don't know what you're really up to. I think they're probably trying to recover the crap show that is America right now. Oh my gosh, they're losing it again. Never have I seen this before. Never have I seen El Salvador in bloody Texas. <laughs> um, Guatemala's gone. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, dear. Yeah, the, Amer the Americans are dead. I'm on my own against the Axis. We have been for some time, but this just this is just the nail in the coffin now at this point. Like I am on my own. We are fighting this with no backup. What an absolute mess this has become. Right, our medium tanks, you're going to be key to linking up the fronts here. I would love to bring Spain on in, but it just... It would involve me getting my, needing me to get my troops over there, which isn't a terrible challenge, I guess, but I guess the Italian Navy's probably there ready to sink me. And again, the UK still owns um, the Rock of Gibraltar, so maybe that wouldn't actually be the case. Trying very hard to push in the Hanover, aren't they? Gosh, I might actually even have to go even more mental on bloody. We we still have light tanks, though, don't we? We do. Bring them right bloody down, because I need I need everything I've got on clipping guns. Reinforce them. Even more coming. We'll get them all on this. And what we can do is we can divert some of these troops in there. Oh, they're stacking that. Oh, they're pushing that as well. That's not good. It's alright, we're attacking them from all four directions, so hopefully. Maybe even Rostock, we might actually be able to push from there and there and cut off Stralsund. Stralsund. More cities. And just pin them in. There's a lot of divisions there. Shame we didn't get them. At least we've linked up the fronts now, though. Berlin's not too far away as well. Germs have lost flipping eight Miltas. Like, honest to God, what are they doing? Honduras has capitulated. Oh, my God. It's not good. It's not good at all. Ah, oh, the Red Baron shot them with one of my guys. God dang Red Baron. Mm 
one. The goal is to take Berlin and see how much further we're going to have to push. Hang on, though. With us taking Northern Germany, um, their manpower is probably going to be getting a hit. Two of the four mil still. Because Berlin's probably, Brandenburg to be specific, is probably where a lot of their... We only have 630k there. Um, Sachsen? Uh, Sa Saxon? Saxon? I don't think that's how you say it. Um, 400k. Probably a decent bit of manpower in all of the areas. So the further we push into the north, the better, really. And our tanks are on the flipping crusade for Berlin, so... There's a lot of movement on both sides, but I think we can try and catch them out a little bit. Yeah, we're still working on that. We've got all the upgrades for you. We've got all that. Let's research you. Siege of Berlin is underway. And again, we are trying to cross the river, though. Do we still have air superiority? No, they've probably sent about 10,000 planes over. No, let's, let's simmer, because we're actually losing a lot of guys. That's one thing the other is bet for, an air force. That can definitely get pushed back there. Um, there are some of these guys push into there. That seems really bloody weak here. I just don't know if I've got enough divisions to even... Wrangle, how would you do on a push? That's what I'm wondering now. I don't really want to go too mental. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think that's actually going to be in our best interest to do this. I don't want to get too carried away. I can secure Berlin, happy days. Oh. Okay. Oh my days. Um. Trips. This may be the opportunity we have been waiting for to finally push this front. It is looking significantly weaker than it has been in times. That's the wrong two guys. Let's see what we can do here. Because if it's, this is the start of the push on this front, I'm going to be very happy. We just need to get across the river. We're across. We are across, boys. Get into them. Because if we can take out Hungary and Yugoslavia, it's going to make our days bloody much easier. Berlin has also fallen to us. Okay, okay, nice. This push is going very well over here. This was a great distraction. I'm glad I noticed that before it was too late. I am just researching ships for the, the sake of researching them. You do not need to be doing that right now. But well done. Anyways, trips. Um... Are you maybe good for a push as well? This could be the moment we've been waiting for, for the pushbacks. Again, we need to not be too mental, because I am going to have to stop and recover some guns. Why were they all paused? Okay. We've had our push for the time being. Alright, this front. This is the front that seems to be doing the best. There's no way to even encircle troops. Okay, maybe send my medium tanks through and maybe try and 
push through and cut off some of these guys. Just do it ever so like slightly, do encirclements, just small and steady all along the way. So if we come in here, we might see if we can cut off Warsaw maybe. You're still pushing down here. Just get them all to stop now. It's a nice push. And it has allowed us to retake Odessa. So I can't complain. Yeah, that's good. What? What is this? Oh, okay. Alright. How's the German Empire doing? Are you building more troops yet? You still have 20 troops. I thought you would have had more manpower by now. You do have 954k. Come on, come on, Victoria. Make some more troops. Let's see what the tanks can get up to. Well, you can't say they're not effective. Because they bloody well are. Because as soon as they start to move, you, they've, they've screwed themselves. Oh. It's just a shame we don't actually have more. Just hold them there. I'll try and strike them back now. And we didn't circle any there, that's a shame. We'll go for a further push out. Okay, that's fine. Everything is good. Oh, they're retreating. Sad times. Alright, let's remove you from there. Get these all in there. Ooh, what's the chances? What's the chances, boys? Can we push through? Maybe not that ambitious. Maybe if we go here. I think it's doable. Definitely doable. All we need to do is just simmer. And let the infantry come and fill in. Guatemala's capitulated for a second time. I was going to say, engage them now. Come on, tanks. I need some of these in here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. I need to bloody break into these lots. Going through there, you can face up against the one tank. If 
fact, I'm even sure the infantry could even push in slightly for you. I'm still bringing troops into it, which is interesting. Right. Okay, the rest of the front's doing fine. This, this, we'll wait until the tanks are there. Wait a second. Yeah. Stuff you, stuff them like that. Uh, yeah. Oh yes, that's good. That is very good. Reinforce there. Take the tank. That the tanks can take the opportunity to strike them because they're low in organization from their fighting there. Oh come on! Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, beautiful. Ah, it's a nice wee pocket of German stuck in Poland. Ah, beautiful. Right, all we need to do, yep, get some divisions in there to reinforce them. And all we need to do now, just send in the troops to take them down. Should be relatively straightforward. Oh, they're actually pushing into us down here. That is perfectly fine. We've got this now. So we're going to take some of the Germans down. Good. Oh, they're trying to push up Warsaw. No. Um, just get right on them. Oh, Jesus. I hate how it's messing up the flipping front stuff. I cannot see what is going on. <laughs> There's a decent number of troops in here, actually. Oh, sweet Jesus. Right. Right. There's some guys dead in there. Those guys are all dead in Warsaw now. Oh, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 140 divisions max from the Germans. Wow. Wow. How many men have lost now? 8.4 mil. Right, so the tanks done a bloody job there. Right, let me bin all this crap. Right, where now? Where now? Swing in down around here. Just wait until they all get in position. Um, so that would work. That would, that would bloody well work. The best case scenario, however, is to actually... There's so many guys down here. I don't like how they're pushing. Just, just want another six of you to come down here. Just as a precaution. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Again, they'll get reinforced as well. How's my oh, flipping egg, man! What the hell is this? Okay, we're off. Right, we need troops from here. Oh, wait a second. That is the better route. Alright, you retreat. Come and join us. Guatemala has capitulated for the third time this episode. Really? Ah, perfect. Now we encirclement. 
Not as nice as that last one, but still very satisfying. This is the way they defeat the Germans, just take their troops from them. Oh, Northwest Germany. Interesting naval invasion there. Where's some pro Okay, right, that's fine. Ah, I see where they're striking. Is that El Salvador just died? I think that may have been El Salvador. You know, El Salvador is still with us, kind of. What a flipping mess America's in, like. They've got the troops to repel the Japanese, it just depends where the hell most of them are. Gosh, all the Italians have been doing is trying to naval invade. Which has been laughable at best. Right, we're going through here and we're going to try and cut off all these divisions in here. Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Slow and steady wins the race. I know it's taken us quite some time to fucking take down the Germans, like. We've been going at this for episodes now, but... I can assure you, once we've killed the Germans, we will probably not continue the series. We'll maybe leave it there. Depending on what... If, well, if people still want to see, we'll continue on. Alright, let's go tanks. Next mission's here. Republic of Sudanian has now died. Oh, look at that. We're already causing them to run away. Like little chickens. Let's just extend that to just there so you can stop. Like your odds. And I also like your odds here. We'll even get, um, we'll get a division or two to go that way. Probably New South Wales. Okay, that's not good. Yes, we got it. And troops are coming in the reinforce. So basically, I'm just going to grab all these guys and tell them, kill them. <laughs> yes, bloody excellent, eh? Absolutely fantastic. Yep, continue on your way, boys. Up this way, please. More divisions strike them in round. from all directions on that. That's another hefty lot of division stuff there. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Now, will we be able to send them around? I don't think we will. I don't want to risk my tanks. My tanks are doing absolutely bits for us. Six divisions in there, ten. Another sixteen divisions dead. Germany is losing their fucking army. Oh, oh, desperate times calls for desperate measures, I guess. And they are pushing on us. We need to finish this encirclement off as soon as possible and get these guys back up to the, the fronts. There's a lot of divisions on there. There's a whole 24, in fact. Come on, guys. All is on them. Just need them dealt with. Come on. They're dead. They're dead. Right. Are you all moving back? Yeah, you're all moving again. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's see. Let's get you. How are we doing up here? Ah, oh, we're doing fine. Oh, you've actually been kicked off your front. Right, I think we have to try and sort out the fronts a little bit. I'm 
because right now you don't actually have one. I don't think. Or do you? Oh, you do. That's really congested, though. Like, you, you really don't need to be... Let's extend that out. The Germans are on the push again. How much manpower have they got left now? They have 104 divisions max, though. 1 to 4 mil. Okay. How's Hungary doing manpower-wise? They are very close to having nothing left. I think it's mostly Italians that are down here. It's an absolute death stackery, considering like the Germans are looking pretty weak along the front. It's, in fact, you know, Wrangel actually might be capable of doing a decent push with some of the divisions anyways. Like the Greens, the Greens can definitely push down. Rokozovsky could even probably push in. The Yellows, once they've kind of repelled that counter-attack, well even, it's not even a counter-attack, once they've repelled that attack they might be able to push. See how it looks. Mixed. That's what it looks. It looks mixed. But then again, at the same time, making some pretty quick gains. I'm going to tear through guns for this, but I'll take advantage of them doing that stupid counterattack. Don't want to push the reds. The reds are not. Well, saying that, the reds may actually be in a position for such a task. Some of them, anyways. Not so much, but okay. That was a good push. That was pretty good. I think what we'll do is we'll simmer from there to that point. And then, yeah, I'll end the episode there. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care. Cheers, bye, for now.